Yo, what's up guys, Prince Charming. We are checking out Shyness and Happiness, Cyanide and Happiness compilation number three. It's a try not to laugh challenge, guys. So we are watching some Cyanide and Happiness skits and we can't laugh at them. Kevin chuckle, cave and grant them. And if you do, of course, you take the L. We are all aiming for the dub, so if you want to take the dub, do not laugh. This is the try not to laugh challenge, and let's get into it. Don't forget to hit me with a like on this video. Subscribe and turn your post notifications on so you never miss a post. Comment something that's gonna make me laugh. I wanna laugh right now. The best comments are gonna get like a pin or a reply or a like from me, so make sure you make me laugh. Like anything goes, make me laugh. But enough of me talking, let's go ahead and check out the cyanide and happiness compilation. Try not to laugh challenge hope you guys enjoy the video Ted bear survivalist okay where are you like bear grills what are you doing oh, hi. you didn't see me there you know why because I'm Ted bear I did you see you survive like me you've got to have a sharp wit endurance good looks and a backpack <laughs> full of ingenuity I've got mine on both straps try and keep up what are you doing scenario you're on an international flight, and the best has gone dodgy. Perhaps an albatross with poor eyesight has confused your plane engine for a mate and smacks right into it. Macking up your one snug commute to a spiraling disaster catastrophe. Luckily, you've left your tray table up, and now you're the only survivor, stuck in some godforsaken jungle. How does that let you survive? It's muddy, it's wet, it's hot, it's inconvenient, and it's a bugger out of the way. Now, the first thing you got to do is get a sense of direction. A good strategy is to find the nearest river and follow it. Well, you found you found a river. There you go. He, maybe he is a survivor. After a while, all the walking will leave you bleed naked. You need to find a source of food because food means carbohydrates. Carbohydrates mean energy. Energy. He's means correct. Movement. He's movement correct. Means survival. Luckily. There, are there you go. Of food in the wilderness. You just gotta know where to look. <gasps> bacon. We must be underneath a bacon tree. Head ass. Do these yeah, exist? These aren't quite ready. You need to climb higher to find the crispy ones. Ah, now there's a nice. Oh wow. Stuff. You've got yourself a quarter of a complete breakfast right there. Time to keep moving. Try this keep is up. a bacon tree. How? Lovely that would be if now that was we real. Need to find some refreshments to wash it down. Ah, what do we have here? They probably got fruit that punch in that. Very <laughs> crucial to reach all the way in the back to get the freshest milk. Oh my god. Always, always check the expiration date on the back. It's imperative to your survival. Ah, my luck. What is on your mouth? <laughs> Raisins. What's up, Ted Bear? Here we are on some desert island, conceivably in the middle of the ocean. Without a map, we can't be sure. What we do know is that our body needs water. Water. Not so fast, mate. This is salt water. We need to filter it into something more drinkable. And now the fruit fish turns salt water. Is that a pineapple fish? Drinkable punch. First, you need to find the fruit appendage. Uh -huh. Oh gosh. Oh my goodness. This is Yeah, you're probably <laughs> thinking. Yeah, there's no such thing as a fruit fish. Well, you're right. It's actually a crustacean. This guy can't be serious. He is not a survivor. That's why you're getting fat. Look at you. Big boy. <laughs> Sheesh. <laughs> Look like you're eating dookie. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna shut up now. Yeah. The, the trick to uh, survive it on a, on a mountain. It's a. Uh, it's hard to catch your breath at this elevation. He's gonna have a heart attack. I'm gonna, into that bear trap. I'm just gonna. Yeah. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Fall! Is he, are you not gonna fall? Is gravity? Oh! In memory of Ted Bear. So sad, Ted Bear. Look at you! No wonder you died. <laughs> this is the freshman 30 for you guys. <laughs> There's not a freshman 15. That doesn't exist. It's the freshman 30. Freshman 15 means whenever you go to college for your first time and you eat only out. 
you gained about 15 pounds. Really, you gained 30 pounds. <laughs> Sheesh, bro! <laughs> this man is not okay. Maybe it's a good thing he died. He seems like... Okay, so that, that clip was pretty crazy. I'm not gonna lie, that was pretty crazy. So I'm guessing that was supposed to be like Bear Grylls and how like he had like a lot of backlash or hate because he would be a survivalist, tell everybody how to survive or whatnot. But off camera, he had a hotel. He was getting catering or whatnot. So how are you gonna be in the wilderness telling me how to survive, drinking your own piss, but as soon as the cameras end, you have a fresh lobster that they just caught this morning, ready to be cooked. Doesn't seem very fair now, does it, Bear Grylls? You a fake, I don't like fakes. You know, we shoot fakes. <laughs> Could y'all see me uh, making like gang banging music? Like six nine. Bookie Stiffy up. Oh man, are you okay? Yeah. Why? You got a pole in your stomach. Oh god. Oh god. Oh gosh. You've got one tail. They'll freak me out if they start talking. I'll hop off. <laughs> That would freak me out. I don't know why the kids were still on it. <laughs> as soon as they start moving, I'm hopping off. I'm leaving that fair. Poor little guy. He's been sick for so long. A rat? And I feel so badly for him. Or a hamster. My little buddy is in so much pain. I'm afraid the only option we have left is, you know. Kill him. Yeah. There you go. It's a rat. Who cares about those? Miss hmm. Livingston, this is an adult human being inside of. Oh. <laughs> Don't you see that he's in pain? He's my pet, and it's my decision. Oh, that's her pet. My decision is I want to end his suffering. I see. And uh, what is he suffering from exactly? Well, look at him. She's trying to kill her husband or her son? I tell you this every time you come in here, Mrs. Livingston. This is your son, Kurt, a 24-year-old adult human male, <laughs> and I can't euthanize him. She's trying to kill her son? Human male. Actually... Dash? Right. I'm a pyro fox. <laughs> is that what you identify you as? Fire Dash is sick. He's been. He's been sick. He's been sick a long time. <sighs> Miss Livingston. Call me Rachel. Miss Livingston, this has been and continues to be. She's really trying to kill her son. Resources. On top of the fact, look at that money. Completely unethical. Put some more. This regards Kurt's basic change his mind. human rights. It's Fire Dash. My name is Fire Dash. Oh my you goodness, just Fire don't Dash. Live with a son who, as an adult, wants to live his life as a magical human dog. What would you? Uh, I'm a pyro. Fox. Not to mention the responsibilities <laughs> you have. He's a pyro his fox. Mother. His mother. Come on, please. No. Isn't that? Somewhere I could leave him or something. Come on, Kurt. Are you gonna let her treat you like this? Or are you gonna stand up straight like a man and say, I'm here, I'm a magical dog boy. He's a pyro fox. Die, Get it right. I don't appreciate <laughs> you referring to me as a cisgender human male. <laughs> oh gosh. I'm a trigender pyro fox. <laughs> oh my goodness. Get out. Please. <laughs> Get out. Please. He's not having it. Get out of my office. <laughs> this woman is really trying to Shh. Quiet puppet. Soon you'll finally be free. This woman is crazy. She's really trying to kill her son. I mean, he is weird though. I can't blame her. Oh, oh god. What? Bro, I get it that your son is different. Your son is weird. Don't get me wrong. He's annoying to me, too. Sorry, you're bad enough. He's one of those and you know, annoying. Oh, I identify as blah, blah, blah. But no, he has to be a pyro fox. What is that? Is that something from Neopets? I bet you I don't remember Neopets. Neopets was long in the, long in the day, man. This, that was back in like the Millsbury Neopets uh, Brad's doll era. Oh, gosh. Dentist. Dr. Murphy is ready to see you, Joel. Right this way. 
All right, if you'll just have a seat right here, the dentist will be with you momentarily. Oh, she got a cue. Hello, Danjo. She a stick figure. Seen come you on, for Prince. A while. Oh, you weren't afraid to come back, now, were you? Nah. I hate energetic doctors. Well, you like to have fun here. Like, do your job and fix me, bro. All right, Joel. <laughs> Your breath hot. What's going on with those choppers in there? Open up. Nah, I won't bite. And I hope you don't either. <laughs> JK, JK, LOL. Say, ah. All right, calm down, dude. You have a PhD. Oh, wow. I mean, a, a medical you degree. Pretty, aren't you? Are you nervous? Yeah, this will help. Uh. All right, back. Don't go anywhere. Okay? Okay. Where does all that saliva spit go to when they have to drain your mouth? I always thought that. Do they just have big tubs of saliva and spit? Or ugh, why am I talking like this? This is nasty. <laughs> yeah, he's way too energetic, dude. I would leave that office. Something about him doesn't seem right. Where is that tube going? He's sucking it out. He's sucking it out for, with his mouth. With his mouth. I swear to God if he is. Oh my god. Wait, hold on. Hold on, please don't tell me. Oh my god! Oh! Bro, I honestly feel like I'm gonna throw up. That swallow just honestly just did it. Goodness gracious, that was disgusting. Oh my gosh. Bro, what do you do in that situation if you find out somebody was doing that to you? Did you hit them? Like, do you just honestly throw them potassos and just stick them in their jaw? That is so disgustingly gross. That is, oh goodness gracious. What y'all know about Mother's Day? What y'all getting for y'all mothers? When is Mother's Day? Happy Mother's Day, Bobby. What a bad mother. Oh, cute kid. She gonna throw the cake. She gonna spin it? Oh. <laughs> Mother's Day cake's on a thing, kiddo. But, Bob... Is your dad Jesus? Look at that picture in the background. <laughs> I mean, I know your dad. She's too smart for me. <gasps> oh. Oh. He was trying to kill his mother. What? This, this show like, always gets me. You think you've seen it all. A good boy, you are. Who's a star? Yeah. Oh, he's jealous. He wants some playtime. Boy, oh, yeah. How are you jealous of a dog? I'm gonna go grab a drink. You want anything from the kitchen? Yeah, could you grab me a soda? He's gonna kill the dog. Like, I am legend. <laughs> That's not funny. What the fuck, man? Don't act like I don't know what's going on. Keep your paws off my Kool Aid. Understood? <laughs> Keep it up and I'll it's, take you to the pound. It's a dog! Pound, I mean, with my fists. What I'm trying to say is, I'll fucking fight you, dog. Let me find out if the dog know what's up, though. Room, you two. I'm glad that you two are getting along so well. After all, he's my beastie big man. The dog knows what he's doing. <laughs> the dog knows what's up. Look at his face. <laughs> he knows exactly what's happening. Do you want to take this outside? I said, let's take this outside. Oh, he likes the word outside. All right, let's do it. Let's take this outside. Oh, the dog can come back. What did I tell you? Oh, bro, how did I know? How did I know this? I knew the dog knew what was up. The dog was smashing his girl, bro. I would have to throw Potassos too. I don't blame him. But how are you going to take an L against a dog, dude? You don't deserve her anymore after that. But that was it for this video, guys. And I hope you enjoyed it. Golly, cyanide and happiness. Y'all y'all are always able to get me. I need to watch way more of y'all's videos. Y'all are just excellent. Y'all just hitting the folks. So yeah, that was a Try Not To Laugh compilation. And if you laughed, you took an L. So yeah, I hope you didn't laugh. But don't forget to be able to like, subscribe, and comment on this video. If you want to reply from your truly Prince Charming. My name is Prince Ahaga, and stay charming, my friends. Thank you.